Stan, who is that? Who is this? Who is this, Stan? I've been telling you you've been cheating on me and you haven't been listening to me. Who is this? Who is this? Who is she, Stan? I know you've been cheating on me. I know you have been. Tell me. Who is this child? I can't believe you. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kopana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice, use it, don't use it, it is completely up to you. No pressure at all, do with it what you will. Now in today's video the question is very very simple, very straightforward, very very simple question and it is this, what do I do? when I think this man is cheating. So the thing is, we're not sure if he is cheating, but we suspect there's something. <coughs> little voice, little whisper saying, he's cheating on you. So what do we do? How do we handle the situation? How do we approach with caution? Because here's the thing, if you approach all wild, just going, you're cheating on me, what are you doing? Who is this girl? You may be wrong and he may not be cheating on you and it is very hard to rewind and move back to being normal after all of that has gone out. After you have unleashed the crazy, it's very hard for him to get the image of that crazy and put it back in a box. Very hard. It gets very awkward. It may lead to a breakup. But on the other hand, if he has been cheating on you, you do not want to be taken advantage of. You do not want to be that idiot of a girl. Three years later, he comes back and you realize that, oh, what is this? Man has been cheating on you the entire time. We do not want that. So we need to approach in a way that makes sense. We need to make sure that we have our, our, our game face on. We need to have a strategy, a stratagem that makes sure that whatever happens here, we don't blow it up if actually we are wrong. But at the same time, we need to make sure that if we are right, we deal with it appropriately. Now in today's video, I'm going to give you a step by step process of how to deal with it. When you suspect that this man is cheating on you, this is how you're going to handle it. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram at Kopanashimange and look for this picture right here. Click on the little pink box or reply and let me know what question or scenario you want me to deal with in our next video. But until then, let us get into this very serious topic right now. What should I do if I think he's cheating on me? Okay, ladies, get your pen, get your paper, sit down, take notes, listen very carefully because this step-by-step -step process needs to be executed with precision, okay? Step number one, when that feeling lands, when it lands, when it settles in your heart and you're just like, mm, I think he's cheating on me. When that inkling comes and it just sits and it just doesn't want to go anywhere, you go to sleep, you wake up, mm, think he's cheating on me he leaves the house and you're just like ish uh, gotta shiver i can't shake it i think he's cheating on me <sighs> the first thing you need to do step number one is that you need to calm down you are not going to unleash this girl okay no you're going to calm down you're going to handle this correctly and the first step is just to calm down you got this you got this i think he's gonna cheat on me uh -uh. it's not gonna happen i'm gonna make sure of this and i'm gonna handle this correctly okay so calm down you're going to decide right now that from this moment forward you're going to be very calm we're not gonna raise any suspicions. Actually, we might just even be an even better girlfriend. Just to make sure, whether it's a wife or a girlfriend, you're going to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be for this man, okay? I'm whispering, just in case they're listening. You're going to be the best 
you're going to turn up the good and make sure that this entire time not a whiff of suspicion is going on mm -mm, no you're going to be a good girlfriend good wife continue as normal if anything does get better step number two is to take your time and observe you need to read the situation you need to get your good glasses on because now we are going to become detectives we are going to observe the one thing we shall not do is take his phone oh honey if you want to go looking for trouble oh you can find it on the phone and you will not go searching on the i know you want to i know there's this urge you're just like phone. we're not going to go searching on the phone i know we want to but once you just step over that privacy line of the phone just step it becomes a problem so the phone i know you're probably thinking to yourself all i need is this one naked picture it's on but girl the phone oh the phone is a whole other can of worms we're not gonna go onto the phone we're not gonna go searching onto his social media we're not gonna go hacking into any of those things we're going to observe his behavior and that's what we're going to and we're gonna take our time take your time if you have a girl if you have a great game plan right then you don't need to worry about being made an idiot out of you're going to observe we're just observing what's going on what time is he leaving what time is he coming back is he always taking his phone to go poop to go pee to go check the water to go close the tap to open the door to close the door or is he leaving the phone on the table? Is the phone like this or is the phone like that? We're just observing. That's all we're doing. But we're taking our time. That's it. Step number three is to write it all down. Now, I know we have become detectives out here. But if it is a good relationship, you want to make sure that you handle this correctly. And if that man is cheating, you want to make sure that you just round up all the information and all the evidence that you need to sort the situation out. The reason why you want to write it down and just get it out of your head, put it in a vault on your phone. You know, if you get a vault, I have a vault on my phone. Everybody has a vault in their phone. My vault is empty. I don't need no evidence against my man. I got a good man. But if you need a vault, get a vault on your phone. Secret little compartment where you have all your notes about what's going on. The reason why you want to get it out is because now these things are just in your mind. They're festering. You're just numbers. You're just seeing things. You're calculating. You're just like... And, you this, and then and it's all going on in your mind and you're just seeing all these things and you just this internal conversation that's going on it will drive you insane and then the last thing that you want to do is just burst and then the crazy comes out we do not want to burst we don't want to handle this irrationally we want to handle this calmly okay need to be the bigger woman here so handle it calmly so for us to really be able to stay calm in this whole situation is for us to get everything that we are thinking about out of our minds, out of our brains. Because if you keep it in, I'm telling you, you're going to burst and then you're going to mishandle the situation. And sometimes you may actually get it out of your brain and then realize that, oh crap, I was overthinking it. This is a good man. What am I doing? What am I saying? Oh, I'm sorry. Self, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I doubted my man. Oh, <sighs> got a good man. But sometimes if you write it down, you start to realize that I'm not actually overthinking this thing. Ah, uh, I need to investigate the situation. All right, so get all of this stuff out of your mind because if you keep it in, if you bottle it in, you'll burst. And bursting just means that you're gonna ruin things. You wanna approach with caution. So get it all out, write it all down. If you really think that things are weird, write it all down and you know there's those signs since we're observing you're looking at all of those signs always working mate he's always distracted when he's with you he's not giving you the same time and the same affection as he used to he's changed as a human being when he used to come back home from work he used to be like this but now he's like this 
you're going to observe some of those things because sometimes it may be work stress. Sometimes it may be money stress. It may be stresses from something else that's making him change his behavior. But then it may be that during the weekends, this is when he's actually like this. That when he's on his phone, there's certain times he shows me what's on his phone and certain times he doesn't. So you want to really try and observe because you don't want to go running your mouth in a situation where this man is just suffering from work stress. But you do want to observe that socially, there's something going on here. Something is amiss. Something stinks here. So you need to get it out of your mind so that whatever signs you are seeing, you can know that these are definitely things that are letting me know that did it. Eh, warning, cheating. And this just brings me to step number four. You want to notice both the good and the bad. When you think a man is cheating, all you ever do is you just like this. Yeah, and he put his phone facing down. Mm, he said he was going to be at 10. He's here at quarter past 10. Uh, he said he was going to the garage, but then the garage doesn't take 30 minutes. He took longer than that. All you're ever doing is just listing all the bad things. Huh, honey? Don't drive yourself insane. Listen, look at the, both the good and the bad. Because there may be things that he's actually doing to show you that actually, no, this man isn't cheating. Things are actually fine. So you don't want to just only try and look out for the bad. Because here's how the mind works. Have you ever noticed that if you think to yourself, hey, I think I'm going to go do gold twists. Then all of a sudden, you're just seeing people with gold braids all over the place. You turn left, there's a person with gold braids. You turn right, there's a person with gold twists. You turn right, you're just like, why does everybody all of a sudden have gold braids? That's how the mind and the world works. When you think of something, all of a sudden you start to pick up on other things that just align to that thing that's on your brain. The same happens with cheating. If you think your man is cheating, all of a sudden the only thing you're going to see is signs of him cheating. So you need to level out your brain because you could think a man who's not cheating is cheating on you because the only thing you're thinking about is signs for cheating. That's a sign. Ooh. That's a sign. Woo! Sign he's cheating. Mm -mm. So you want to observe both the good and the bad. Because seeing those two things, you may realize that mm, I was overthinking things. But again, remember, there's a possibility. That guy might be cheating. He might have it somewhere hiding. So you want to notice the good and the bad. Weigh them out and see, am I right about him cheating? Or maybe am I just, you know, yeah, it was the work stress. Or yes, there's a new project at work that's stressing him out. Or there's a money situation. So notice the good and the bad so that you have a good informed opinion of what you think might be going on. And this brings me to critical step number five. You want to talk to him. So this is how you approach the situation. You're not going to say, ah, baby, we need to talk. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna freak the man out and if he's cheating, he's gonna run. You wanna catch him in the act, right? Shut So you're gonna talk to the man, all right? You are not going to tell him that you went through his phone if you didn't listen and you went through his phone. You're not going to tell him that you've been investigating him and observing him and taking notes and being mis detective. You're not gonna tell him that. What you are going to do is you're going to approach this as just a conversation about things that you have picked up and how they make you feel, okay? So you're going to address the things that are putting you off in the relationship, all right? If there are a list of things, you need to put them out there. That, yo babe, you know, your phone behavior lately is making me feel very uncomfortable, right? Hey love, you've been working late quite a lot. What's been happening? It's making me feel uns unsure, you know? Or oh, hey baby, you used to pay so much attention to me. And when you don't, you seem so distracted and it makes me feel less loved, right? All of the things that you've been picking up on, him being distracted, him being out a lot, him not calling you on weekends when he's out with his friends, him being secretive on his phone. You're gonna address all of those things, right? And you want to notice his behavior around these things. A man who cares for you, a man who wants to stay with you, a man who doesn't wanna cheat on you, will address those matters 
correctly and properly, right? He'll try to make sure that o grand o sharp. A man who is not respectful of you won't care for those things. He'll lie about those things. He'll beat around the bush around those things. And that's when you need to be like, yeah, then tell us up. Something is amiss here. Remember, you want to approach this with a guilty until proven. You know, no, I'm so wrong. Wait, take the light, take the light. Innocent until proven guilty. All right. So you want to approach the whole conversation with the with the mindset of this man may be innocent. If these things that I've been noticing that look like he is cheating are uh, because of something else, I want to find out. But after trying to talk about these things and I am still not satisfied, then you move on to step number six. If you are not satisfied with this discussion, you've brought up your points and you are not happy with what is going on, that you still think he's cheating, and even if he's not cheating, he's not being respectful of you with these things that are making you feel off, then honey, baby girl, you may need to leave the man. I'm being honest. I know you're just like, oh, what? I'm so serious. If these things that you have been noticing and you've taken your time to observe these things, to look at these things, and you've spoken to the man about it, he does not want to change those things. He does not address them in a way that makes you feel respected. And you still think the man is cheating then you need to say so, or you need to leave. Those are your options. Remember, you want to approach the situation knowing that if I am wrong, I don't blow this relationship up. That's why you want to take a time, observe, build a case, talk to him, knowing that he is innocent until proven guilty. But after all of those things, and you still get to point number six, and you're just like, I am not satisfied with the answers of these things. Then you need to say, boo, are you cheating on me? Are you cheating on me? Or you leave. One of the two options. If you're not satisfied with this discussion and this man does not want to fix things with you and he does not want to make you feel more secure. If you still feel like this man is just, you go out all weekend, it makes me feel ugly inside. I don't like this. And he's still like, yo, you need to accept it or whatever. Mm -mm, you can't be with a man like that. If you tell him that you feel as though he is not paying attention to you anymore and he's distracted and he's not giving you a reason why or he doesn't want to fix it, then why would you want to stay with anybody like that? And step number seven is to accept the choice that you're having. Always approach this with calmness. And whatever choice you have at the end of this discussion, that yo, I think you're still cheating on me, you do not have evidence, and this man is being disrespectful of you, accept the choice that you have. Whatever the outcome of your discussion, you need to leave accepting the outcome of the discussion, okay? So if he comes to the end of the discussion and you realize that yo, he's actually been acting like this because of A, B, C, D, E, except we finish off that we're good, he's not cheating, let's continue with our relationship. Or if you find out that he's cheating, accept where it's going to move forward. Accept where you guys are right now, after this big discussion. Remember that once you bring it up, there's no going back. So make sure that when you bring it up, you have your case, you know where you stand, and you know what you want to discuss. Whatever happens at the end of the conversation, accept it and move forward. If you come to the end of the conversation and you guys are still good, he's not cheating on you, he still loves you, accept it, embrace it and move forward. But if you find out that the man is cheating on you, you need to decide. Do you still want to be in a relationship with this man or don't you want to be in a relationship with this man? Whichever way it goes, accept it and move forward. Now I know, I know, I know. Ooh! This is a sensitive topic. If you think that man is cheating on you and you're gonna bring it up, you need to be prepared for what may happen. It may end up good or it may end up bad. Whatever the outcome, you need to know going into the conversation that things may go left or they may go right, okay? It's a sensitive one. And you know how men may be? He may deny, deny, deny until he dies. Or he may come out with it. You may catch him in a lie or you might just find out that the man isn't cheating on you you do not want to accuse him of cheating on you if he's not cheating on you 
There's no turning back from that. It may blow up the relationship. Your accusations may make things very awkward. So approach with caution and make sure you've got your case. Now that is it for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I know that this issue was just a bit of uh, this issue. It's a bit, it's a bit of a tricky one. I know, I know. Let me know in the comment box down below if you've dealt with this before. If you have any suspicions that your man is cheating on you, what would you do? Hmm, interesting conversations coming right up. Now, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. Until next time, make sure that you join us at 7.30 South African time for our live premieres and our live chats when these new videos go live. But until next time, beautiful people, I'm Kabana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. Now, when it comes to confidence, it can open up a whole new world to you. You can be the best version of yourself. Putting forward the personality that you know other people would love and one that would make you feel fulfilled. Living every moment in your life the best way that you know how. Now, if you want to unlock that confidence that you know you have inside, you want to build your self-belief, then head over to my website, kopanashibangi.com and download my new ebook, the seven hacks to building your confidence. It is completely free and it will help you to bring out the best version of yourself, that confident woman that goes after the things that she wants. Until next time, bye.